Hello, fabulous superstar Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is going to be early in the month that we are going to have a very powerful full moon. Now, this full moon is one that has a lot of tension and frustration. It's got an energy of surprise and unpredictability to it as well. This full moon is taking place at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky, having to do with your understanding of home and your past and your family of origin, everything from where it is that you live and how you feel about it is covered here. And it is this full moon that is setting up what astrologers call a T-square with Uranus. This is a larger configuration of tension, yes, of motivation, certainly, but given the nature of Uranus itself, this is a, a lot of surprise happening as well. Now, what's also interesting here is that given your sign and your relationship to these other placements taking place, it is these very parts of the sky being highlighted by this full moon that become that much more important to you. And it also means that the energy of some frustration, yes, some sense of truly wanting things to change and change dramatically and change in an instant. Well, that may be very strong for you at this time as well. Now, regardless of what does transpire, there is also something very honest about this energy. A full moon is the honesty of what you feel being honest with yourself about your emotions around a given situation. Uranus is all about truth and the stark light of day, the truth that sometimes perhaps hadn't been anticipated. Now, whether this is your own sense of where you have been, your past, freeing yourself, forgiving the past in a way where it no longer speaks to your present, well, that can be part of the cleansing that transpires for you now. It could be that a member of your family of origin behaves in ways that are uncharacteristic, perhaps dramatically so. Now, it may also be the case that if it is that you had been hoping for or thinking about buying, selling, moving, or a new roommate, this is where it may feel that things are moving very quickly in that regard as well. But it may also be you feeling impatient and wanting things to change on a level of where you live so much so that you are willing to take steps that may feel uncharacteristic to others, maybe even to you as well. Now, if it is that you have a home-based business or you work with homes, well, this is where that very space can feel like there's a whole lot going on. Uh, there's a whole lot of ideas and stimulation, but at the same time, things may be changing. You are on the precipice of a breakthrough here, and it may have you scrambling in order to make the most of it. But there's also the great opportunity here for genius, for insight, and to free yourself of things that no longer serve you. Those things that maybe you've been carrying, the disappointments of the past, it is in moments like these where your energy can shift, where you are more in alignment with a wiser, and more loving future, certainly in a larger perspective. Now, as we navigate later in the month, the new moon that transpires right around the 19th, well, that energy is dramatically different in a way that I think you will love very much. Now, the key to remember with this new moon is that it is happening at the very top of your sky, hand in hand with Mercury. Now, it is going to be speaking in supreme harmony with Mars. Mars is in shadow. And Mars is your ancient ruling planet. This is the month where Mars is going to set up some difficult connections with other power players at this time. And so there's a lot of tension happening with your ancient ruling planet, which means for you, there may be that sense of a, a quiet frustration, a desire to move your life forward that feels visceral. And then we get a new moon like this, which can change your understanding, which can help you to understand that the effort and the time that you put in, well, sometimes it does pay off as it may very well with this new moon. This is a brand new career related opportunity, uh, a sense of clarity about your life purpose 
this can be a sense of a work-related opportunity aligning very well with some sense of a promotion uh, or advancement taking place. If it is that you have an interview or audition situation, it can go exceptionally well in the days around this new moon as well. In some way or another, you are getting more clear. You are aligning your life with what you feel is a destiny, a higher sense of legacy. And that is part of what makes whatever new opportunity that comes now especially rewarding. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is Uranus in your opposite sign that is especially active this month. I love how Uranus is connecting with other power players, uh, in particular that new moon, but also in harmony with other power players as well. I'm thinking about Venus. I'm thinking about Mercury. And what that tells me is you are connecting with potential partners or reaching new understanding with the partners that you have. There's also Venus this month that is finally going to change signs after months of being stuck in a given part of your sky because of the larger Venus retrograde season that is now over. It is going to be right around the 8th of the month that Venus is going to move into fellow water sign Cancer. I think you are going to love this energy. It is going to make love feel especially international in some way. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, love should start to feel like an adventure that excites you, that delights you. And it may very well be the case that you do connect with someone very different than what you have known before or the type of person that you've known before whether it is that philosophically they see the world very differently or they may be from a different ethnicity or a different culture, they represent the world opening up to you. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this is where love can become more lofty, more philosophical, more fun as well, because this is a very adventurous part of the sky. It does suggest that you are feeling that much more hopeful and excited about learning more about this person. I just want you to be mindful as we move towards the end of the month, Venus is going to begin setting up a series of oppositions with big power players in the sky. And what that suggests is being on opposite ends, being on different pages. And so you may want to not talk about serious topics like politics and religion with this person that you are getting to know, especially as we move into the later days of the month. For those of you who are in an established bond, I love this shift of Venus for you. Well, look, even before we get there, uh, the fact that Venus will be out of shadow, moving through a part of the sky that has to do with your partner's finances, in addition to all the other things uh, that I've already spoken of, well, look, this energy does speak to your partner feeling more blessed and that in turn blessing you in some way in terms of the resources you have access to. But outside of that, once it is that we move beyond the 8th of August and Venus changes signs, this is going to represent a newfound sense of adventure and what it is that the two of you could do together. This may represent the two of you making plans to engage in new experiences and that in and of itself brings a renewed sense of joy and enthusiasm. What I love about this month for you, well, I'm going to say that new moon taking place in the middle of the month, even though Venus changing signs and moving into fellow water sign cancer is a really nice energy as well. The fact that that new moon is happening at the very top of your sky speaks to a new pathway towards greater success, one that feels empowering and it feels as if your life is moving upward and forward in a way that allows you to glimpse a sense of destiny now, one that is inspiring, hopeful and in your grasp. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.